What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Code Actual, and we're going to be showing you how to stream on Facebook. I've already gone made a Facebook account. Uh, this is no information. This information is just all false. Um, if you use a group page uh, or a uh, your own fan base page it will work all the same I promise you so go ahead and log into your Facebook then you want to click on where it says live video then don't worry what this says just click on connect now for me it's gonna take forever to load up it literally takes forever I don't know why but for you it's it'll load up instantly so the things that will pop up it'll give you the RTMP and it looks like a URL and you're going to copy that and you're gonna put that and towards your Streamlabs OBS and you're gonna to go to stream and streaming services and if you use custom then that's where you want to put in that URL however um, you can go down to Facebook live and it will already have the URL for you you just need the stream key which you can get it back over here and it'll give you the stream key um, it will also ask you if you want to check mark persistent key persistent key means it will leave that key the same so every time that you stream and about the stream the key will never change and you never have to go back to the uh, streamlabs obs and enter in the new key every time um one thing that should be noted is when you go to settings here then go to live video and this says publish this as a continuous live video. So if you click on this, it will stream longer than four hours. However, after the four hours, um, if this is checkmarked, it won't save that live feed as an archive. But if you uncheck this, it will you will only be allowed to uh, stream for that four hours, but it will be archived for everyone else to see in the future. So depending on if you want to mess with that setting or not, if you normally uh, stream longer than four hours, then that that's where I just wanted to point that out. So. Uh, as for everything else, you know, just put in your title and all that whatnot stuff and same thing here and what game you're playing and once you're ready, uh, go ahead and click done and all you got to do is click go live. Then once your screen pops up on here, then you go live. Then it will show you what you're, it's ready for the audience basically. So you're not really live until you click on go live right here. So even though that you have clicked live right here, it's ready for you to go live right here so you can view it out to your fan base. Um, and you can also use a, the Facebook dashboard. So it's going to be facebook.gg slash stream, I believe. Or I could be wrong. No, no, that's right. That's right. So this is your Facebook dashboard and this is where you can change things in real time um, you can just you know view the latest comments so you can use that as a dashboard or use the previous screen that you have as a dashboard to make changes to that so uh, facebook.com slash gaming slash streamer or facebook.gg slash um, streamer so that's how to stream on Facebook um, for the most easiest part there's a couple other things that I was I actually spaced out and I forgot to mention. So the output it's asking you is to have at least three thousand or three thousand and five hundred video bits, but for me I usually have six thousand and I leave it at ten eighty p sixty. If there is a huge delay for you, then leave it at three thousand or. 3,500 and you want to change the output of your video of when you're streaming so leave that output at um, 1280 by 720 then you'll see more of a real-time interaction with your audience because when um, when I used to stream out there used to be like a 15 second to a five minute delay but uh, they've they fixed that quite a lot, so you should be fine. But I'm just letting you know the problems that I've encountered before. And it may encounter to you, but I'm just letting you know the fix for that. All right, guys. So that's actually it. 
Um, I hope that this uh, video was helpful to you all. And if it was, you know what to do. Subscribe and share and hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video and you all take care. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.